Top 10 Fascinating Facts About Ford Prepare for a journey through time and engineering, where we'll uncover hidden secrets, forgotten stories, and astonishing facts. This is the Top 10 Fascinating Facts About Ford. Number 10. The Ford Logo and Its Evolution The Ford Logo, with its distinctive blue oval and elegant cursive signature, is much more than a mere corporate symbol. It's a time capsule that encapsulates over a century of innovation, tradition, and evolution in both design and automotive philosophy. The story of this emblem reflects Ford Motor Company itself, an entity that has overcome countless challenges and paved the way towards the future of mobility. The first Ford logo did not feature the famous blue oval. Instead, in 1903, the brand used a simpler design that highlighted its full name, Ford Motor Company, in an elegant, serif font. This initial design represented simplicity and efficiency, principles that Henry Ford wanted his company to symbolize. The blue oval, which would become synonymous with the Ford brand, made its debut in 1907. It said that the oval and the color blue were chosen by Henry Ford because they represented peace, excellence, and grace. The name, Ford, written in a distinctive cursive inside the oval, projected an image of elegance and fluidity, reflecting the innovation and quality of Ford automobiles. Number 9. The Smart Mobility Initiative Ford's Smart Mobility Initiative focuses on three fundamental pillars, autonomous vehicles, connectivity, and big data. Combined, these elements promise to revolutionize not just the way we drive but also how we interact with our urban environments. Autonomous Vehicles – The Journey Towards Autonomy Autonomous vehicles are a key piece of Ford's smart mobility strategy. The company is massively investing in research and development to bring to market vehicles that can operate without human intervention, promising to significantly reduce traffic accidents, improve traffic flow, and free up valuable time for passengers. With ongoing tests in several U.S. cities, Ford is at the forefront of making autonomous driving an everyday reality. Connectivity, a revolutionary user experience. Connectivity is another crucial pillar in Ford's mobility vision. Through the integration of advanced technologies such as the Internet of Things, IoT, and 5G networks, Ford is developing vehicles that can communicate not only with each other but also with road infrastructure. This not only enhances safety by providing drivers with real-time information on traffic conditions and potential hazards but also allows for more efficient traffic management reducing congestion and emissions. Big Data – Information for Smarter Mobility Big Data Analysis is the third pillar of Ford's Smart Mobility Initiative. By collecting and analyzing vast amounts of data from its vehicles and urban sources, Ford aims to better understand mobility patterns and transportation needs. This information not only helps Ford design vehicles and services that better match consumer needs but also provides cities with valuable data to plan more efficient infrastructure and more effective public transport systems. Number 8. The First Remote-Controlled Vehicle In 1965, the world witnessed an innovation that seemed straight out of science fiction, the first vehicle operated entirely by remote control. This concept, introduced by Ford under the name of Phantom Corsair, not only captured the public's imagination but also marked a milestone in automotive technology history, foreshadowing a future where vehicular autonomy would become the focus of mobility. The Phantom Corsair was designed as a technology showcase, demonstrating the unlimited possibilities offered by the combination of advanced engineering and emerging electronic technology. Although at the time it was more a curiosity than a practical solution to mobility challenges, the underlying concept of controlling a vehicle without a physical driver inside was revolutionary. The vehicle was equipped with a series of advanced technologies that allowed its remote operation, including radio frequency transmission for steering, acceleration, and braking instructions. The idea was to demonstrate that, with the right technology, a vehicle could be safely and effectively directed without direct human intervention. Although initially, the Phantom Corsair and its remote control technology might have been seen as mere fair attractions or publicity stunts, in reality, they offered a window into future innovations in the realm of autonomous driving. 
This concept paved the way for the exploration and development of autonomous vehicles, which today are the subject of intense research and development by automobile manufacturers and tech companies worldwide. Number 7. The Ford GT40 and Le Mans. The history of motorsport is filled with iconic moments, but few capture the imagination like the rivalry between Ford and Ferrari in the 1960s, culminating in the creation of the legendary Ford GT40. This vehicle not only redefined what was possible in the racing world but also represented personal vengeance and a technological assertion on the global stage. Here we explore how the GT40 became a legend at Le Mans. The story of the Ford GT40 begins with a failed negotiation. In the early 1960s, Henry Ford II attempted to buy Ferrari, the prestigious Italian sports car and racing brand. Talks advanced until, at the last moment, Enzo Ferrari pulled out, citing disagreements over racing participation. Deeply aggrieved by the rejection, Ford II vowed to beat Ferrari at their own game, the world's most prestigious endurance race, the 24 Hours of Le Mans. To achieve his goal, Ford launched an unprecedented development program, collaborating with Lola Cars, a British racing car manufacturer, and gathering some of the best engineers and drivers of the era. The result was the GT40, named for its height of 40 inches, about 102 centimeters. The vehicle was an engineering masterpiece, combining a powerful American origin V8 engine with an elegant and functional aerodynamic design. The rivalry reached its climax from 1966 to 1969 when the Ford GT40 dominated Le Mans, winning the race four consecutive times. In 1966, Ford achieved a historic triumph by securing the top three places, a devastating blow to Ferrari and a moment of pride for the American automotive industry. These victories were not only a demonstration of technical and strategic superiority but also sweet revenge for Ford. Number 6. Henry Ford and the $5 a day wage. In 1914, Henry Ford, the founder of Ford Motor Company, made a decision that would not only transform the future of his company but also have a lasting impact on the manufacturing industry and the American economy. He announced that he would double the minimum wage of his workers to $5 a day, a figure that at the time was twice the industry average. This move was not just an act of generosity, it was a shrewd and visionary business strategy that would revolutionize the concept of wages and employee benefits. Ford's wage increase had several dimensions. First, it significantly improved the quality of life for his workers, allowing them not only to meet their basic needs but also to enjoy luxuries that were previously out of reach. Second, by paying higher wages, Ford reduced staff turnover, which was a significant problem at the time. Factory jobs were monotonous and exhausting, and many employees left their positions in search of better opportunities. With the wage increase, Ford ensured a more stable and motivated workforce. In addition to improving the situation of his workers and the efficiency of his factory, the wage increase had a profound effect on the automotive market. By increasing the purchasing power of his employees, Ford was creating a new market for his automobiles. Workers could now afford to buy the very vehicles they produced, boosting demand and expanding the automotive market. This not only benefited Ford but also stimulated economic growth and the development of the American middle class. Number 5. The Bet on Electric Vehicles In a world increasingly aware of the environmental impact of fossil fuels, Ford Motor Company has taken a leadership role in the transition to a greener and more sustainable future through its commitment to the electrification of the automobile. Ford's bet on electric vehicles EVs, is not just a response to market demands and environmental regulations, it's also a bold vision for reinventing mobility in the 21st century. From its early experiments with electric vehicles at the beginning of the 20th century, Ford has recognized the potential of this technology to transform the way we move. With the introduction of the Ford Mustang Mach-E, a fully electric SUV inspired by the iconic Mustang, Ford has not only entered the EV market with strength but also signaled its intention to lead the industry toward an electric future. The Mustang Mach-E is more than a car, it's a statement of principles. With its launch, 
Ford has demonstrated that electric vehicles can offer the performance, style, and comfort consumers expect, without compromising sustainability. This vehicle combines Ford's performance heritage with innovation in electric vehicle technology, offering an exciting driving experience with zero emissions. Beyond the Mustang Mach-E, Ford has announced ambitious plans to electrify its product line, promising that a significant portion of its portfolio will be electric in the coming years. This includes not just passenger cars but also commercial and work vehicles, recognizing the importance of electrification across all mobility sectors. Ford's strategy toward electrification also extends beyond the vehicles themselves. The company is investing in charging infrastructure and renewable energy solutions to facilitate the transition to EVs. Collaborations with charging providers and the development of charging networks are key steps in removing one of the biggest obstacles to electric vehicle adoption, range anxiety. Number 4. The Ford Mustang and the creation of the muscle car. When the Ford Mustang was unveiled to the public on April 17, 1964, it not only marked the birth of an automotive icon but also ushered in a new era in the automotive industry, the era of the muscle car. This vehicle, which combined a bold and sporty design with powerful performance at an affordable price, immediately captured the imagination and heart of America and, subsequently, the entire world. From its inception, the Ford Mustang was designed to be different. With its long hood, set-back cabin, and aggressive design lines, the Mustang presented an aesthetic that was both elegant and muscular. This design not only appealed to young drivers in search of excitement and freedom but also offered a wide range of customization options, from engines and transmissions to interior and exterior finishes, allowing each Mustang to feel unique. What really established the Mustang as the prototype of the muscle car was its impressive performance. Available with a variety of powerful engines, including the famous V8, the Mustang could go from a sleek everyday car to a fierce competitor on the track. This performance, combined with a relatively low entry price, made it accessible to a broad audience, democratizing power and style that were previously reserved for much more expensive sports cars. Number 3. The first vehicle with seat belts. In the constant evolution of the automobile, one of the most significant advancements that has saved the most lives is, without a doubt, the seat belt. This device, so common today that its use is practically instinctive upon entering a vehicle, has its origins in the innovation and forward thinking of the Ford Motor Company. In the mid-20th century, specifically in the 1950s, Ford began experimenting with vehicle safety concepts that were practically unknown at that time. The company understood that the design and engineering of a car should not only focus on aesthetics and performance but also on the safety of its occupants. Thus, in 1956, Ford made a revolutionary decision by offering optional seat belts in its models. This initiative, although initially met with skepticism by consumers and other manufacturers, marked the beginning of a new era in automotive safety. Ford's seatbelt was not the first to exist per se. Airplanes were already using similar devices, and some racing vehicles were beginning to experiment with them. However, Ford was a pioneer in introducing them to the mass consumer market, recognizing the potential of these devices to protect drivers and passengers in the event of a collision. The original seatbelt offered by Ford was a two-point model, similar to airplane straps, which extended horizontally across the occupant's lap. Although this design was quite rudimentary compared to current safety systems, it represented a giant step towards recognizing the importance of vehicle safety. Number 2. Fordlandia, a rubber dream in the Amazon. The idea of Fordlandia arose from Ford's need to become independent from the fluctuating prices and British and Dutch monopoly over rubber, vital for tire manufacturing. In 1927, Ford acquired about 2.5 million acres of land in Brazil with the goal of cultivating its own rubber. However, the project had greater aspirations. Ford envisioned a community that would not only be productive but also a model of life, with schools, hospitals, and housing for the workers and their families, following ideals of well-being and progress. From its inception, Fordlandia was plagued with difficulties. The first major challenge was ecological and agronomic. 
attempting to implement industrial cultivation techniques in the unique ecosystem of the Amazon proved to be deeply problematic. The rubber trees, planted in dense rows in the style of traditional plantations, were susceptible to diseases and pests that devastated the crops. Moreover, the imposition of an American corporate culture, including diet, morality, and work norms, generated tension and discontent among Brazilian workers, culminating in riots and labor unrest. The cultural disconnect between Ford's ideals and the reality of life in the Amazon could not have been more pronounced. Despite significant investments and ongoing efforts by the Ford Motor Company, the project never achieved its primary goal of economically viable rubber production. In 1945, with millions of dollars lost and after the invention of synthetic rubber, Ford sold the land back to the Brazilian government for a fraction of its original cost, marking the end of the Fordlandia experiment. Number 1. The Model T changed the world. In the history of automotive, few vehicles have had as transformative an impact as the Ford Model T launched in 1908. This vehicle not only democratized car ownership but also revolutionized manufacturing techniques, marking the beginning of a new era in the industry and modern society. The Model T is a testament to Henry Ford's ingenuity and his vision of making automobiles accessible to the general public, not just the wealthy. The Model T became the symbol of the world's first moving assembly line, introduced by Ford in 1913. This innovation allowed the company to drastically reduce the assembly time of a car, from more than 12 hours to approximately 24 seconds per vehicle by the end of its production. The assembly line transformed not only the automotive industry but also the concept of work, production, and efficiency across all manufacturing industries. It facilitated mass production, reducing costs and making products, like the Model T, much more accessible to the general public. The Model T was designed to be economical, durable, and easy to drive on the rough roads of the early 20th century. With over 15 million units produced until its production ceased in 1927, it not only became the best-selling car of its time but also remained the best-selling vehicle in history well into the 1970s. Its economic accessibility and versatility made it the preferred vehicle of millions of people, opening new mobility opportunities and transforming social structure by making personal travel much more accessible. The Model T had a profound impact on culture and society. It facilitated the birth of suburbs, as people could live further from their workplaces and travel by car. It also spurred the development of roads and transportation infrastructure, in addition to stimulating tourism and leisure. The production of the Model T reflected and promoted the idea of standardization and mass consumption, elements that would become pillars of modern society and economy.